want breakfast, said some unfamiliar voices. Breakfast? I don't cook breakfast, I thought. I looked up and saw Aslan and Klondike, my two cats, and Lucia, my ferret, surrounding me. I jumped back in terror to find out that my pet was caught and went along with it. I got up to get them breakfast. Here's some meat, you guys, I said. Meat? We don't want meat. We want bacon and eggs, commanded Lucius. And waffles, demanded Aslan. And sausage, ordered Klondike. All we've got are eggs and toast. No bacon, no waffles, and no sausage, I said. No, we get what we want, said them all. Not today, you don't. I don't like the tone you're using either. Okay, but we want what we wanted today, tomorrow. It was Saturday, so there was no school. I went outside to lay out and read. Hi, Brian, said the birds instead of chirping. Not the birds, too, I regretfully whispered. Brian, let us outside. Please, said my pet. All right, but leave me alone. No, Brian, don't let them out. They attack us and eat the bugs, said the bird. Do you just want to go to the park? Yeah, said my pet. My mom drove us up to Miami Whitewater Park. We went to go fishing. See that big fish, Klondike? That's the one I'm going to catch and eat for dinner tonight, whispered Aslan. No, you're not, said the big fish. I'm too quick for a big, fat cat like you to catch. Look who's talking, fatty fish. I think fishing would be a bad idea, I said. We went to go for a walk in the forest. Those birds sure look tasty, said Lucia. You're not eating any of us, declared one of the birds. Let's go home, I said. This whole thing was a bad idea. I went home and saw that chores were needed to be done. I got the lawnmower out and began to cut the grass. Hey, 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 you're about to run over my house. Um, sorry, I said. I put off the lawn mowing and started to clean the house. My pet started throwing food all over the place. I eventually cleaned up their mess. After cleaning the whole house, I needed to rest. No, you can't go to sleep. We are not asleep yet, said my pet. When do you go to sleep? I asked. Noon. I was able to hide from the pet to go to sleep. It was hard to go to sleep because the crickets were saying quietly, Stay awake. I managed to sleep. I woke up the next morning by my pet jumping on me. Get off, I yelled at them. To my surprise, they said nothing. What do you want for breakfast? Not a word. Who are you talking to? My mom asked. Nobody. As I left the house, I could have sworn that I heard them say, 